what are they trying to do here? Because it's it doesn't quite seem to. Uh, it seems like it was uh, rather an unseemly right. move on their part. I, I think that's a very complex question. I, th I think it's a very good question, and, and it's one that I would like to have ad addressed. I mean, it would be really nice if we had an audience with with the Department of Juvenile Justice and the governor. And we could sit down and iron out those those specific reasons. Have you been able to at least get an audience with DJJ? We we've had conversations with them, but it's been it's been um, um, not in our favor, and it's not been with enough information that we feel like that they've really looked at the situation and because they've kind of got their minds made up. Right? Right? And, and this is not about bashing them or, or trying to make them no. I'll look bad. You can. Do that. <laughs> <laughs> Essentially, what we really want to do, we want to work with them. This is this is a team sure. effort. Sure, and, and it them, should be right. And we've worked with them, you know, for the last 26 years, and and we want to feel like at the end of the day, if they've got, if we if we had, and this is not the right numbers, but I'm just throwing a number out for you to understand. If there were 10 programs, and we only needed five because of the reduction in beds, we no longer needed all 10. We only needed five programs, and they ranked us based on merit, based on what it cost and whether it was effective. And we ranked number six, I would not be sitting here. Because what that would tell me is the other five locations are going to do a better job than what we're doing. It's going to be less expensive, so it's better for taxpayers, and it's going to be more effective, which is better for the kids. Mm -hmm. We wouldn't be having this town hall meeting. That's not the case. Though. That's not the case. What we would like for them to do is to rank us, and if they need to keep five programs and we rank number three, we would like to be one of the five programs that was saved, not one of the five that was let go because our contract was expiring. And I, and I think that's the, that's the kind of dialogue that we're looking for from the Department of Justice and the Governor's Office. It's just to sit down with us. Department of Juvenile Justice. Department of Juvenile Justice, I'm sorry. Sit down with us, let's, let's work this out so that it's in the best interest of the taxpayers of the state of Florida and the best interest of the kids that we serve. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and it's right back to that number, you know, of, the, of 10 of prior arrests coming to us. You know, when you've got a kid that's coming to you that's been arrested ten times, we've, we've not done a good job nine times. Well, the state hasn't done a good job nine times, and then uh, without your program, the tenth time that kid's going to wind up right back in a state run, uh, which essentially with budgets going the way they're going, Department of Juvenile Justice right. is, is only going to wind up having less money uh, next year, the year after, which means that they're just it's just a cattle ranch for right. criminal kids. And uh, the only thing that those kids are going to learn is how to be a better criminal. Right. Well, it just it just creates a revolving door, and we yeah. know that once they get in the adult system, it's very very it's, difficult. It's they're done. Yeah. It's very difficult to get them turned around. So now is the time to turn them around and you know turn turn these kids into um, you know taxpayers, and and and, and that's you know giving them a, an opportunity for a productive life, giving them the opportunity to to be married and have kids and and and, and pursue the American dream essentially and, and it's yeah. just it's real troubling for me to to not do everything that we can as a society to help these kids get back on track because they're great kids they're just making poor choices and th through the um, process of coming through our program we're able to reach those kids and get them turned around that's great and uh, folks again for more information and you, you can contribute you can contribute in many ways uh, you can give money and you can also uh, you know, find out how you can get an email to the to the governor, and then show up tomorrow night, 6 p.m. at Charlotte Harbor Event and, Cro uh, Event and Conference Center, <laughs> Event and Crosswoods, Event and Conference Center in Punta Gorda, and Crosswoods will be there for a big town hall meeting. And who's going to be there? Well, we have we have a great lineup of speakers. I'm glad you brought that up. We have um, a couple of our representatives are going to be there: Paige Kriegel and Ken Robertson. We have the um, Leah Valente, who's the um, congressional aide for Tom Rooney. He's mm -hmm. not going to be able to be there, but he's um, Leah Valente is going to be joining us. Um, Commission Chair um, Chris Constance will be there, and we also have um, Sandra, Dr. Sandra um, Pavelka, who's the um, Circuit 20 Juvenile Justice Chair. She will be attending, and then and and, and I, I want to get back to the kids because that's that's the reason why I'm involved in this um, organization to begin with. We have former. Um, students that are going to be coming back and, and speaking about their how oh, it's um, benefited them, how it's benefited them, and, and turned their lives around. They will be there as well as one of the one of the parents, which will be a, a great time. It's an opportunity for you to come out. Like I said, most people, you know, said this is not right. We shouldn't be closed down. Is there any uh, anything I can do? And, and now it's time. Um, hopefully, everybody's been pinned in all weekend with the weather. Yeah, and, and we'll, you know, hopefully it'll just break out and be sunshiny tomorrow night. And everybody want to get out of the house and. And come out and show your support. That's that's what we need, and that's what you can do to help us. 
we would greatly appreciate that. Please do support Crossroads.com, support Crossroads.com, and tomorrow night, 6 p.m. at the Charlotte Harbor Event and Con Conference Center for a town hall meeting and uh, gather together. Community time. Community time tomorrow night. All right. Brett, thank you much for coming in. Thanks you for having me. I appreciate and, uh, it. Uh, Good luck, man. Thank you. I really appreciate that. And I appreciate all the um, support that we're getting from the community. I just want to um, thank everyone for all the um, support that they've given us. We really appreciate it. Kids deserve it. Another quick break.